Hello everyone. Welcome to Minds of Aspirants YouTube channel. Uh, since many of you uh, asked about uh, to explain the uh, concept of Indian Ocean Dipole and uh, we have come up with this video. Uh, this video contains uh, the simple explanation of uh, what is this Indian Ocean Dipole. Okay. And uh, after explaining the de simple definition of this, we will have the uh, number of phases of uh, IOD. That is Indian Ocean Dipole. We will have uh, three phases. I, I and we will be seeing uh, each phases with its impact okay each phases with its impact then uh, we will be discussing about the dipole mode index and uh, how this uh, iod will be impacting the indian monsoon and finally uh, we will be summarizing this concept okay now this indian ocean dipole is basically the difference in sea surface temperature of this indian ocean uh, between the two regions these two regions are the eastern uh, regions of uh, indian ocean and the western side of the indian ocean normally the western side indicates the arabian sea and the eastern side indicates the uh, indonesia okay these are the uh, two different regions uh, we will be seeing and uh, normally uh, the dipole in the sense di means two and pole is the two extreme ends uh, either in case of uh, north or south pole or positive or negative side in this phenomenon the dipole represents the uh, warm water in one side and cool water in the another side or the vice versa of this event right then uh, this uh, indian ocean dipole is also called as an indian nino okay so normally uh, we have uh, the concept of el nino and la nina likewise this indian ocean dipole represents in indian nino right. now Coming to the phases, we will be having three set of phases that is uh, a positive IOD, uh, a neutral IOD which does doesn't have any effect on any other countries and we will be having a negative IOD. And before going to that, uh, uh, please do watch uh, a video on El Nino. I will put that video link in the first uh, uh, you will see in the description below. In what happens in, uh, I will be explaining a very short uh, in this, uh, what happens in the normal year is a normal year or normal year or uh, lanina year what happens is the trade winds the strength of the trade wind increases okay so what happens is the warm water accumulates in this region thereby generating a uh, upward uplifting of this uh, uh, air mass from below which creates low pressure here so this is the uh, basic phenomena where the strength of the trade wind uh, generates the the concept of uh, lanina and elino so what happens is when in Lani, El Nino era, uh, this uh, trade winds weakens, weak trade wind creates the, uh, changes the path of this uh, warm water towards the South American region. And do watch that video. Uh, with this basic concept, let's discuss the uh, IOD phenomena. What happens? Uh, you can see the uh, stronger trade winds uh, has the accumulated warm water here and it tends to move even more and results in the accumulation of warm water towards the region of western side of the Indian Ocean. I mean this is the Indian Ocean and you will have the western side of the Indian Ocean accumulates with warm water. This uh, results uh, in the upwelling of water from below and uh, this region has a cold phenomena. The uh, water from below will be having an upwelling of uh, water and uh, after the uh, warm water will be uh, resulting in the accumulation in the uh, western side. Okay. And uh, resulting is the low pressure created in the uh, Horn of Africa region that is African region which uh, tends to move uh, the air particles uh, in the uh, direction of upwards and the heat will be generated and the air particle will expand and tend to rise with moisture. In present in it and after the process of uh, uh, condensation the precipitation occurs in the region of Africa so Africa will have a better chances of rain due to the low pressure present in it and what happens is after it reaches to the uh, troposphere level it will uh, subside in the uh, region of Indonesia which creates cooler than normal temperature okay this cycle repeats in itself and uh, this results in the uh, dry condition in Indonesia and the Australian region and there will be having a very less chance of rainfall in this region 
and this is the positive iod where we will be having a, a strong easterly trade wind which accumulates the warm water in the western indian ocean that is africa and uh, resulting in the upwelling of cooler uh, water from below in the eastern indian ocean that is indonesia okay this uh, typical phenomena will be uh, occurred in the peak of uh, september month september to november month and uh, this is the uh, practical phenomena which was happened uh, in 2019 where you can see the uh, september to october will be having a intensified uh, intensified warmer region in this region so this is africa you will see the occurrence of warm water is huge in this region and uh, you can see the accumulation of cold water in this region so obviously we will be having a low pressure in uh, african side and you will be having high pressure in indonesian side while you will be having no or less rainfall okay uh, the impacts of positive rainfall uh, includes in indonesia and australia is that Uh, there will be having a uh, no uh, rainfall or uh, drier than normal and there has been chances of uh, bushfire whereas coming to africa you will be having a good uh, rainfall that is better than normal uh, but uh, it also results in the uh, events called flood and uh, coming to the second phase that is the negative phase where you have to replace warm water with the cold one and cool water with the warm one uh, where in the past case we have seen the warm water in african side now we have been replaced with cool water that is it will happen due to the weakening of the trade winds fine due to the weakening of the trade wind what will happen is the water will move from uh, Uh, western side of the indian ocean towards the eastern side and resulting in the accumulation of warm water in the uh, in indonesian austral region this results in the low pressure uh, accumulation here thereby the air tends to expand and rise with moisture thereby the condensation occur and we will be having the form of precipitation as rainfall and uh, this air will be again uh, hitting the troposphere and subside in the uh, horn of african region which will create a high pressure this results in no or uh, drought in african region and it will having an increased chances of or a good amount of rainfall in australia and indonesia region so which is warmer than normal and this negative iod in includes the accumulation of the warm water in the eastern indian ocean that is west of indonesia and cool water in the western indian ocean that is horn of africa see there is horn of africa is countries nothing but Uh, which is called as seed countries which includes somalia uh, eritrea ethiopia and djibouti okay these are countries which are called as a horn of africa do remember this and they will be asking you in prelims and the impacts of the negative uh, iod includes whereas we can see the uh, indonesia and uh, australia were been uh, warmer than normal which represents the uh, phenomenon of uh, low pressure rainfall and in eastern africa will be having cooler than normal condition where we will be having a drier condition than normal and uh, the third phase it is called a neutral phase uh, it doesn't have any uh, much influence on either countries so uh, just uh, have this uh, picture in your mind this dipole mode index this index is the measure of surface temperature difference between the western and eastern tropical indian ocean see uh, how much positive or the negative uh, sign or the value of this index is been released here and uh, the strength of the uh, dipole uh, dipole is monitored with this dipole mode index fine right. and it, this index is released on monthly basis and it is having an extreme positive phases in the events like 1994 and 1997 and 2019 is the most extreme uh, iod uh, positive iod effect we have had in almost 40 years where uh, its effect reached in the peak of uh, in the month of october and november right so this was the uh, uh, actual event that has been hampered in uh, 2019 where the extreme uh, peak of event happened between the month of uh, uh, september to november fine so you can see the most warm water will be coming here and indonesian side will be having a, a cool surface temperature and uh, coming to uh, how does it affects the indian monsoon see basically the monsoon uh, withdrawal happens uh, on the normal date of uh, september 1 but due to this uh, influences of the positive iod uh, the monsoonal wind is affected by this 
and uh, it will have an uh, um, high or good amount of rainfall because the actual uh, um, monsoon withdrawal should take place in September 1 but it will delay the withdrawal of the monsoon that is uh, in 2019 it what it was the started of uh, the Indian uh, in the monsoon in India was started its withdrawal on October 9 okay so normally uh, if you have seen uh, uh, this is happens to be Africa okay and normally the ITC is that will be present in uh, a southern hemisphere uh, in September month okay so due to this uh, the uh, Indian monsoon should withdraw from uh, India on September 1 uh, this results in the low pressure this result in the low pressure in ITC is that right so due to this the Indian monsoon get uh, reversal but what happens is due to the positive uh, IOD that is we will be having uh, a positive IOD uh, meaning that the delay happens because of the positive IOD event happens in uh, Horn of Africa uh, which uh, delays the withdrawal of Indian monsoon right this is the most delayed in the recorded history and the positive IOD is uh, is also completely negated the effect of ENSO that is uh, El Nino in southern oscillation which further amplified the monsoon due to and uh, results in the extreme amount of rainfall these are the such uh, years we have uh, we have seen the excess amount of rainfall and uh, also uh, the positive IOD can also give rise to more cyclones see positive IOD is nothing but a low pressure condition uh, in the uh, Horn of Africa or the western Indian Ocean which also creates an uh, impact of uh, tropical cyclone uh, which can uh, create it in the Arabian Sea. Uh, I will put a link on the tropical cyclones uh, with this. You can see in the second uh, link in the description below. And uh, please do let me know for any other comments. And uh, to summarize this, uh, we will be having uh, a positive IOD and the negative IOD. <coughs> in Australia, we will be having drought and bushfires in positive IOD. Whereas, in Horn of Africa or in African region, we will be having a good rainfall and resulting in flood. In India, we will be having a very good monsoon, amplified monsoon we can say. During a negative IOD, uh, in Australian region, we can see a good amount of rainfall but whereas in Africa and India, we will be having a, a negative or a low or less amount of rainfall. And India with respect to the Enso, it will also affect the Indian monsoon in a very uh, huge matter and um, with this i hope uh, you have understood the concept of indian ocean dipole and do let me know uh, how this concept uh, really clarifies your doubts and uh, do let me know any other uh, concept clarity you need further and i will be making uh, some more videos on on your request uh, thank you for watching this video uh, thank you